Alright, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing y'all um, Sid Meier's Colonization, which is a Sid Meier's game. Apparently I said it in the sentence. Well, this is going to be a video on how to conquer the new world, or not really the new world, just conquer the whole map. So, and to show you how to govern your cities most effectively, how to grow effectively, and how to defend yourself effectively. But the problem is with this um, tutorial is that the game cannot be in full screen due to recording issues I had. So, it's going to be playing in the biggest I can get it. Sorry if there's any echoing, and I know there's probably going to be a constant aggravating noise in the background. But, here it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be making sure y'all get the full kind of concept of the game. Okay, maybe this is probably the best I can get it. So, hope you can still see. Alright, custom game. No, it's not right. Sorry. Play scenery. Western Hemisphere, huge, which is North America, South America, and all the islands. So, we're gonna go for that. Now, once you go to start a game, you get the option to choose between two leaders for each one. All come with special abilities. Now, if you're starting off, I recommend you to go to French or Dutch. As you get, the Dutch get a bigger ship at the beginning, and, you know, people who lack the ability to transform their goods in one area can use the Merchantman, which has four slots and resources, to play the game. Probably. For me, I'm going to be playing English because I'm more equipped, I know how to play, and, you know, I'm going to need soldiers. So, I'm just going to quickly give you a brief introduction of each one. Alright, I'm going to be going as George Washington. Okay, you did not see this. I'm gonna name myself right after. I guess just name myself just George Washington right after him, you know, just to make cool. And the rest is fine. Now, difficulty. It's recommended for newer players that you just either stay on Explorer or Pioneer. But since I know how to play the game, and but I don't want the tutorial to be me freaking out over losing, so, you know, I keep it on Explorer. We're going to play normal game speed. If I ever leave anything out in the video, please comment. Tell me if you want me to make a new video or anything. I can always make a new one with a different culture, not really culture, but a new video with playing a different leader, or different, yeah, well, so this is the main introduction once you enter the game, this is basically the campaign, you can select whatever you want to do as a campaign, so I guess you can consider it as a campaign. However, um, basically, I'm going to read this out to you. If you want to skip it, go ahead, doesn't bother me. But in the year 1492 AD, His Royal Majesty, the King of England, grants you a column of charter. For the greater glory of the nation, the King dubs the George Washington, Viceroy of the New England World. Explore this new land, settle it, and bring wealth and glory upon yourself and upon our great nation. 
to achieve a victory, found your colony, declare your independence from your motherland after attaining 50% rebel sentiment of all your settlements. Before this time runs out, defend your fledging country from the wrath of your motherland while wiping out all their ground forces. You must complete your revolution by the end of the European colony. Well, since I have European disabled, we won't have to worry about that. Alright. If you're familiar with other Sid Meier's games, such as Beyond the Sword, Warlord, Alpha Centauri, any Sid Meier's game, you should already know that this is probably the most basic layout you can get. On Beyond the Sword, mostly everything is dealt with research and stuff and money for expanding. It doesn't exactly work out this way in colonization, as you're stuck in one kind of time period. Nothing really advances at all. But here, you got your delete unit, which is basically just sacrifice it. Which, I doubt any of you would ever use any of this unless it's really stupid. Sentry um, is like basically it stays in one spot without moving until an enemy comes within like this range that it already sees. Like normally, let me explain this a little more because I'm, I'm kind of guessing and just pointing stuff. Sentry is say say you want to protect your borders with a, um, a bunch of in, um, soldiers and stuff. But you don't have time to, to keep watching your border. What you can do is you can put sentry. And if you're at war, the minute an enemy comes into range, you're immediately going to activate that unit. And then once you're done doing everything else, your, your screen is going to automatically like switch over like this. To wherever your soldier is at that's been activated. Now, for us to start, I'm going to explore this way. Which is probably going to be land right here, because I know how the game is. Yep. Now, if you're also familiar with other Sid Meier's games, um, when you meet new people, they basically come up in this fashion. It's a box. They tell you who they are. They welcome you if you're, the, if you're just meeting them. And later on, you can trade as you wish. Yeah, I knew I was going to come on land like right away. Because I've been playing this game so long, I can just basically tell you everything that happens in mine. Well, once you get on land, basically you don't do anything, but it sells this back to Europe. The reason you do that is because you can come pick up something you buy like this. Already Pioneer. Already Pioneer is basically how you transform your land. But since I only got two minutes left, I'm going to have to quickly speed up this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to quickly speed up this little process to where I can get the tutorial rolling. For taking so long. All right. Basically, if you you want to found your first city with wood, food, and ore. The reason for that is going to be explained in the next tutorial, which will be started right after this, which is going to be more explaining other than me just setting stuff up. Alright, I hope y'all enjoy the first setup. I think y'all pretty much seen what I did so far. Um, the next YouTube video will explain how to run your colony to get in from Europe and to start expanding your world and building it up. Hope y'all enjoy. Thank you for watching. This is Jacor signing off.